everybody get up. Welcome to Body Shop TV, and once again, look at this, I'm alone. The body mechanic is constantly MIA. I think he's trying to give me a hint or something. Anyway, he'll be here shortly. He's stuck in LIRR traffic. Um, the purpose of Body Shop TV is to share with you information about wellness and relationships to aid in the longevity of both. I want to remind all of our viewers about our monthly touch sensorium. The body mechanic and I feel that touch is so important to the human being. And so we invite the public the third Monday of each month to get touched by us, free veggie juicing and other wellness modalities at 203 East Pulaski Road, Huntington Station at the awesome Center of Heels School of One. Join us, it's a lot of fun, great wellness networking and a great evening of touch. I uh, also want to tell you about our Body Shop t-shirt contest. Last year we had an awesome contest for the first time. It went so well, we're doing it again this year. We're giving $500 cash prize to our winner. We ask that you only create something that depicts Body Shop TV in two colors only. And you can send in your entries to bodyshopcontest at gmail.com. My name is Chella. The body mechanic will be here soon. You can reach us here today live. Uh, the number's on the bottom of the screen. And we have a very special guest with us. I met a gentleman a few months ago at a wellness expo. And he shared with me that he's a physical trainer at a jail. And I used to work in the jail many, many years ago. And I worked with many populations. I had the, the opportunity to work with many different populations. And I found that working with inmates I, and veterans, I just have a soft spot in my heart for these two populations. And I just recently have an opportunity to return to the jail um, on Long Island, working with inmates. And uh, in the meantime, I've also gotten hooked on this old show called Jailbreak. I've just been obsessed with this show. And it's like now when I go into the jail system, I look at the building differently now. I look at the inmates and the, and the guards differently. And I just have a, a, a passion for those being locked up behind bars because their freedom is gone. And we take so much for granted being able to move around whenever we want, go wherever we want. And it's just, it's just a, a crippling, crippling handicap when you can't do that. And I understand that inmates have their reasons why they are behind bars. If they're innocent or not, the fact remains that they are behind bars. And the reality is, is deafening. Um, it's just, every time I go in there, it's just, it's just, it just hurts my heart. Um, I think the most painful experience is visiting uh, the women who are pregnant that are in jail. Because listening to those loud gates closing and the newborn babies exposed to that sound is, is terrible, very, very sad. But anyway, I'm very excited about our guest today. Um, he's gonna share his experience in the jail and what he does there, as well as a product that he has to share. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Dr. Robert Brevard. I'm here for Multimedicine in Westbury, New York. We're located at 1065 Old Country Road, Suite 214. Been here for about 15 years. The practice has medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists. We also do pain management and we have orthopedists on staff. Here at Advanced Multimedicine Rehabilitation, we've got physical therapists on staff who treat an array of conditions from neck pain to back pain, shoulder pain. We treat carpal tunnel. We treat a lot of car accident patients, slip and falls. We treat patients with knee injuries, with ankle injuries. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We've been here for over we 15 years. We do a vast years. array of diagnostic testing from x-rays to EMGs. What is an EMG? It's a diagnostic test that allows a doctor to determine where the pinched nerve is.
Cora is a physical therapist at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. She's working on Stephanie, who was involved recently in an automobile accident. Stephanie has tight thoracic and cervical musculature, and Cora is doing some myofascial release work and some therapeutic stretching to help her with her pain. Vicky is also a patient here at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Vicky is now working her leg muscles, specifically her quadricep muscles, trying to strengthen them after an injury she sustained. If you find yourself in need of any type of physical therapy, please don't hesitate to call Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Located in Westbury, New York, in Suite 214. Phone number is 516-334-7000 or find us on our website at advancedmultimedicine.com. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net. Welcome back to Body Shop TV. My name is Chella, and the body mechanic is who knows. Anyway, I have Jonathan August with us. Welcome to Body Shop TV, Jonathan. Great to be here. Thanks to be here. We've uh, been Chella. communicating for a minute trying to get you bit. on the couch, right? Maybe even two minutes. Yeah. Right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. <laughs> My pleasure. So uh, what I like to do is like break the ice with you. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to do a little body shop uh, personality assessment, okay? Mm. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, <laughs> uh -huh. and you answer, okay. okay? So think about what is your favorite furry animal? Oof. Is a dog furry enough? That's furry enough. Okay. <laughs> now give me three adjectives as to why it's your favorite furry animal. Well, I'm thinking about the dog that I have. So uh, athletic, smart, obedient. Athletic, smart, obedient. Uh -huh. That's interesting. So that's how people view you. Cool. That's cool, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite color, Jonathan? Uh, purple slash violet. Okay, yeah. and three adjectives as to why. Uh, different, bright, unique. Nice. That's how you view yourself. Nice. Now, <laughs> uh, what is your favorite body of water? It could be a bathtub, a shower, a, a jacuzzi, an ocean, whatever. Mm. I'd probably say uh, a clean pool at a resort. Okay, and three adjectives as to why. Uh... Bikinis, saltless. Saltless. Uh, few waves. Few waves. That's interesting. Oh, sorry, that's Bikini, <laughs> saltless, and yeah. few waves. Yeah. Bikini, not on me. Right, 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 right. Okay, right. okay. So, <laughs> so that is how you view sex. Oh, few waves. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't know oh you were going God. there. <laughs> okay, so the whole now, motion of the ocean thing. No motion it, in the ocean. <laughs> Not with Solace, Jonathan. I don't know. All right, so imagine yourself in a white room with no windows and no doors. Okay. Three adjectives as to how that makes you feel. White room, no windows, no doors. Mm -hmm. How does it make me feel? Uh, doesn't necessarily fit. Psychiatric. Sleepless. Sunny. Sunny? I don't know why sunny. I'm That's interesting. The white. I'm thinking bright. I'm thinking nice white, not like an institutional okay. white. All right. So like a white like that shirt. Like. So that is how you view death. Hmm. Psychiatric? That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> All right. Right on. Well, that was our little assessment. Yeah. Um, I actually wasn't even prompted. That was kind of cool. Yeah. I had no idea where that was coming from. All right. Cool. Like things. So, Jonathan, you work at the jail. Yeah, at Rikers Island. At Rikers Island. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you do there. I do physical therapy there. Okay. Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing that? I've been doing physical therapy since 99. Oh, that's I, a long time. I started first at uh, Bellevue Hospital, which was its own, kind of warmed me up to New York and just different environments to work in. Um, 
And then about a year and a half after that, I left there. And then I wound up through circumstances working at Rikers Island. And uh, it definitely wasn't every Jewish mother's dream to have their son <laughs> working at, in a jail, unless he was going to visit as a lawyer. Right. Um, Do you watch that show, Jailbreak, or have you seen it um, before? I've seen, there's the one that's on like, uh, um, I don't know it's Jailbreak. Is it like they go to different institutions across the no. states? Yeah. Oh, no, that's like a CBS kind of thing, right? Right. No, this, no. Is, this is on Netflix now. Oh, this one's like Raw, something, you know, the Miami jail. Oh. I'm used to seeing those jail ones, yeah. Oh, I love jail. Yeah, I don't know that one. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you said that's not every Jewish mom's dream is for her child to work in the jail. It's not like probably first up on the list, you know, lawyer, doctor, you know, own a sports team kind of thing. I got to tell you, it takes a certain special kind of person to work in a jail. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. And special definitely could be interpreted to mean different things, but I think you're coming from a good perspective oh yeah with a absolutely person. yeah and, and I would agree and it's you know being there 13 years uh, I've learned a lot um, just about people in general mm -hmm. especially myself and the growth I've been going through from doing certain educational programs and uh, delving most recently into some people might know it as the law of attraction kind of like whatever you put out you get back that's right um, I've learned a lot about what I was giving out mm -hmm. as I was realizing well what I was getting back was based on what I was how I was being and when all these guys were upset and mad at me, I eventually got to the point, like, well, maybe it's me. Maybe it's mm. just not them. Maybe it's not just the jail guys. And uh, it's made a huge difference to realize that if I'm different, if I be different, have a different attitude, um, don't see these guys as inmates. I see them as patients. Mm -hmm. It drastically shifts right. my experience and I think their experience with me as well. And it's been really cool. And I don't do anything different. I just be different in my thoughts. Mm -hmm. And then we totally, you know, get along. Like they're in jail. They did or didn't do what they did. You kind of touched on it in your right. intro. But I just treat them like a patient, and I kind of give what I can. I remember I had to give my first HIV-positive diagnosis at the jail. and Delivering the news. Delivering the news. Mm. And that was like a double whammy because, one, I'm giving a positive diagnosis, and, two, I'm in that environment. And I got to tell you, I was, I was nervous as hell. And, mm. you know, in training, they teach you that when you tell someone that they're positive, say it before their behind hits the seat. And mm. I did it, and for so, mm. I guess I was lucky because he already knew he was positive. Mm -hmm. He retested to see if it had gone away. Okay. But I didn't know that prior to. Okay. But that was some experience. I could only imagine mm. that one. I mean, yeah. that's, yeah. I, Have you ever encountered any problems being uh, there? Not really. A couple of guys have been agitated for other reasons. Kind of with me, but not very often, especially recently, but many, many times the men and the women can be agitated, but they're just agitated around me, and I'm not the source of it, mm -hmm. um, because I put myself in their shoes, whether they did or didn't do the thing. Well, if I was, you know, in a jail, locked up, crappy food, crappy environment, et cetera, et cetera, I'd be kind of pissed off, too. Yeah. Can I say that? Yeah, you okay. can say whatever you want. <laughs> okay. This is Okay. Okay, um, I would totally be that way. And I'm also coming from they did or energetically did something in a certain way that had them be in that position. Mm -hmm. So I do come from that they put themselves there. Whether they did something, they had a poor judgment in some way that circumstances led them to be there, or they actually did the thing. I'm not judging them as a bad person, but I'm just saying you are responsible for that. Mm -hmm. And let's just, you know, let's make the best of it, the best that we can while oh, we're here. Are they responsive to you? Yeah, most of the time. Yeah. I mean, the, the worst is they're, they're kind of neutral, don't say much. You know, they're just quiet. That's fine. Somebody doesn't want to talk or say much. I'm not going to push it because I don't want to be, like, poking them and yeah. have them say something in a very aggressive manner. But a lot of guys where I come from, you know, I'm, I'm not judging them. I'm like, you might want to consider this. You know, maybe you were doing this thing or being this way or maybe your your lifestyle of, you know, that kind of food, the McDonald's and the crap and the heroin and the crack and the weed and whatever, that might have impacted your body in such a way that that's why you feel the way you do right now. Really? You tell them that? Yeah. I'm like, well, they understand it. I'm like, mm. I'm, I'm not saying, oh, you're stupid for doing it because right. I actually think drugs should be legalized anyways. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, great, do it. But if you get sick, don't, you know, blame me. Don't blame somebody else. You created it. But I let them know that's most of it, maybe except weed. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, it's very inflammatory to the body. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the body mechanic was here. We'd probably all agree. Right. So if you're injecting this thing, it's, you're, you're burning your insides up or you're wearing it down, you're rusting it out. So if all of a sudden, you know, your back went out, 
I was probably for the from the 10, 15, 20 years of, you know, shooting up or burning, you know, smoking something or right. doing whatever. And you can change it as best you can in, in jail while you're here. There isn't a whole lot you can do nutritionally. It's not like there's a wheatgrass bar. Right. Uh, but I'm like, you know, eat the fruit, drink the water, don't eat too much of the bread. You know, go to the yard, exercise. Do you find a lot of them are, that are, are in denial? Of? Their, like, their past behaviors. Um, they're they're not with me. unhealthy. Not really. No, they, they pretty much know they, <laughs> they, they screwed up. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it's whatever got them there locked up or what got them in that physical shape. Mm -hmm. um, they're not in denial, but I do find many are not necessarily willing to like, be responsible for it. Mm -hmm. They're not going to say they didn't do it, but they still oftentimes put it off on something or someone else. I'm like, dude, you ate the burger many, many times, and you did this, and you did that. Yeah, but da 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 da. I'm like, okay. Wow. I'm not here to talk you out of that. <laughs> but I could offer something different, you know, as a perspective to look at. And those that are open, we actually have really cool conversations. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Do and you learn from them? Oh, totally. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, coming from very extreme, backgrounds. extremely different backgrounds. Okay, you know, I'm you know, white, middle class, Jewish guy. I've got three college degrees, two masters. Most of the guys and women there are from. You know, certain parts of New York, you know, the projects, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually did some work there. I did home care for a bit. And I was in Spanish Harlem, you know, East Harlem, uh, Washington Heights, Inwood. So you speak I've, Spanish? Un poco, un más poco. o menos. I, you know, you know, I, I could, enough that, you know, I might mess up the tenses and things like <laughs> that, but guys understand what I'm saying. Okay. So I've actually been in, you know, the projects, like where they live, where mm -hmm. they grow up. And um, that would be a challenging environment to grow up in, to have like a positive attitude. So if people are bitching and moaning and complaining and this and that, I, I get it more than most because I've literally been in where they're, I've been in their homes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's, if the elevators work, you know, there's it's piss in the elevator, um, you know, weed, it's not weed in the hallways. Uh, I haven't been there at night, but I know there's gunshots at night and daytime, mm -hmm. um, you know, roaches all over in some of the places. You know, I didn't grow up with that. I'm mm -hmm. sure I would have a different attitude growing up if that's where I grew up. Right. So I have a certain, you know, empathy for that. Mm -hmm. And I know there's plenty of people that grew up there that have created an amazing life for, life for themselves. So it's not a guarantee either way. Right. But I'm like, I didn't go through it, so I can't really say. So I'll say this is what you could do now. That's right. What's done is done, but you're here now. This is what you can do, basically starting with your thoughts. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a, a whole behavior modification that they have to go through. And mm. I'm working with a program now where we're trying to reduce the rate of recidivism. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a lot. I mean, just basic things on teaching folks how to apologize. Mm. That's, it's, it's, it's intense. Mm. It's intense. But I enjoy it. I, I love the population. I don't know why. Um, I guess I'm, you know, <laughs> I always fall for the underdog. Mm -hmm. I can understand that. Yeah. It's funny you mentioned uh, the apologize part because uh, <laughs> I had uh, it wasn't really an incident, but I had an interaction with somebody who's recently into uh, the infirmary there. You know, guys that just had surgeries mm -hmm. or major problems like you know gunshots, you know, hardware in them, and this guy had like a kidney removed. He had some kind of like you know, kidney cancer. Uh, he was in the physical therapy room. He talked to the head doctor about medications. I need this. I need that. Which I think he did because he just came from Bellevue, and then I saw him in his dorm saying, "Oh, you, you coming back down?" You know, are, are you refusing? Mm -hmm. If you refuse, okay. He's like, hey, you know, you don't understand. Da, da, da. I'm like, I got it. This is what I can do. This is what I can't do. And he just, he was a certain way with me, which wasn't super positive. However, looking back on it, I'm like, well, maybe I wasn't so great with him. Mm. So he came in the room, uh, the physical therapy room. He eventually came back. He's like, you know what? I actually said to him, I'm like, I apologize. I think I might have been a bit, you know, short with you earlier. And then kind of went about our business. And we had a great, you know, session. And, um, not everybody would think that would make a big difference. It was more for me than for him. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, I might have been kind of crappy there. Right. Let me clean that up and move on. <laughs> and then we're totally cool now. So there that's is something cool. about, you know, taking responsibility, acknowledging yeah. it. You know, not, not saying I'm sorry because that's different than I apologize for something I might have said or done. Right, taking responsibility. And then moving on. So, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that too. That's huge. That's mm -hmm. huge. So we'll, we'll go take a break right mm -hmm. now. And when we come back, we're going to talk about this awesome product that you have to share with us. Great. All right. Perfect. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
My name is Dr. Robert Brevard. I'm here for Multimedicine in Westbury, New York. We're located at 1065 Old Country Road, Suite 214. Been here for about 15 years. The practice has medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists. We also do pain management and we have orthopedists on staff. Here at Advanced Multimedicine Rehabilitation, we've got physical therapists on staff who treat an array of conditions from neck pain to back pain, shoulder pain. We treat carpal tunnel. We treat a lot of car accident patients, slip and falls. We treat patients with knee injuries, with ankle injuries. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We've been here for over we do 15 years. We a vast array of diagnostic testing from x-rays to EMGs. What is an EMG? It's a diagnostic test that allows a doctor to determine where the pinched nerve is. Cora is a physical therapist at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. She's working on Stephanie, who was involved recently in an automobile accident. Stephanie has tight thoracic and cervical musculature, and Cora is doing some myofascial release work and some therapeutic stretching to help her with her pain. Vicki is also a patient here at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Vicki is now working her leg muscles, specifically her quadricep muscles, trying to strengthen them after an injury she sustained. find yourself in need of any type of physical therapy, please don't hesitate to call Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Located in Westbury, New York, in Suite 214. Phone number is 516-334-7000 or find us on our website at advancedmultimedicine.com. I am Tom Mealy for the Harrison Law Group, and I have been telling you for years that getting involved in an automobile accident is no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. If you've been involved in an accident of any kind, and you go to a law firm that says you have no case, it's simple. It's because they can't do it, and they don't get it. You need to call us directly at 1-800-INJURY-LAW. Welcome back to Body Shop TV. My name is Chella, and I'm here with Jonathan August from, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Massachusetts. But <laughs> I, but from Massachusetts? But I live in New York City, the Upper West Side right now. So you have an awesome product that you came to share with us. Uh, I do. Tell me about it. So uh, what I have here is, this is just one of, one of the products here. Uh, the company that I work with is called Nerium International, mm -hmm. and this is, uh, it's a skincare line, skincare company. And this is their night cream called Nerium AD. And I was basically lucky to have a good friend of mine um, call me up about 10 months ago, give me some information about the company and the product, what it's about. And I uh, joined, you know, locked arms with her to work with her to actually promote and endorse the company and their products. And it's been an amazing, great experience in, in many different, different ways. Um, and basically, the skin care, the, the night cream and day cream helps reduce lines and wrinkles and, and large pores and um, loose skin, aging skin. You know, if the texture's off, it helps smooth that out. Mm -hmm. And then there's also, uh, they just came out with uh, this thing here. It's called the Nerium Firm. Uh, it's a body contouring cream, um, otherwise known as something to address cellulite. You know, mm. It smooths, firms, tightens things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know my makeup artist, she puts um, Preparation H on my eyes if they're puffy. Like if I go to bed uh -huh. really late the <laughs> night before, uh -huh. and it works. It tightens the skin up. So I wonder if it has the same ingredient in that as it has in a Preparation H. Yeah, I mean, it's, I guess it's probably about the shrinkage factor yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with the Preparation H. I'm pretty sure it's not the same thing. The, uh, the main active ingredient um, in the Nerium products is something called NAE8, mm -hmm. uh, which is an extract from the Nerium oleander plant. Okay. Um, so that's the main uh, active ingredient in the products. Um, and for example, in the night cream, 
it's, there's more in that than anything else because in the day cream they had to formulate it differently because women and some men uh, put on makeup mm -hmm. and the night cream is a bit thicker than the day so the day is smoother, a smoother texture so you can put that on for the benefit, you know, for the lines and the wrinkles uh, and also put on your makeup afterwards. And you use this? I do. And how long have you been using it? Uh, if I hopped on board, probably last July. Last year? I would say. By yeah, year. Last yeah. Have you seen a difference? I have, and luckily, at least in my opinion, I don't think I'm too wrinkly. Mm -hmm. um, I usually, people guess my age a bit younger than I actually am, which is a good thing. Um, however, the biggest difference that I didn't see, but what I felt, my skin was much smoother. So I do shave quite often, so if anything, the, the texture of my skin was, was very, very smooth. So if anybody happens to get really close to my face to whatever, <laughs> um, it's a nice smooth <laughs> texture there. Okay. Yeah. And how do you promote yourself with this product? Um, well, it's pretty much just sharing the information, um, basically like the website with people mm -hmm. or, uh, or a quick link, quick video uh, to see if it's something they might be interested in. And um, actually, can I share one of the, the links? Absolutely. For Absolutely. So actually, there's a, uh, a link specific for people on the show or listening to the show or watching the show. Uh, just www.jaugust.arealbreakthrough.com. So jaugust.arealbreakthrough.com. Go there. There's a, a short video clip there. Uh, check out the information. Um, it's about you know the, the company and the product. You know, see if it's you know up your alley. See if it's in your sweet spot. If you have any interest, contact me from that. And uh, those of you that mentioned that you heard of me through you know the Body Shop show, um, I'll have something a little special uh, for you if you nice. choose to you know become a customer. Because um, the company they they really stand for something awesome, making people better, uh, and the product really really works. It's really a matter of if somebody wants to use it or not. Very good. Can I try some? Yeah, certainly. See how it feels? Yeah, do you want... Should I use a day cream or a night cream? Well, we'll do both. And um, actually, let me open this. So, this is the day. I wish I could put some on my thighs. You can. Not I can put it on now. for you if you want. <laughs> but I can't out here. I don't really care about that. Or not. What does he have to do with it? Yeah, just, just rub it in. It's just a cream. Okay. So, that's going to be a bit smoother. And there is not a scent mm. to that. Yeah. There is no scent. Not to that. However, to the night cream... There is a more of a natural botanical scent, and you're going to feel a, a difference in the texture. It's going to be thicker. Oh, this feels good. Mm -hmm. And so this is what women put on underneath their makeup as a moisturizer? Well, anyone that puts on makeup, so women or men, uh -huh. depending, especially if it's Halloween in the city. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you'd use the day cream and then put on your makeup at night, take off your whatever you have on, right. take that off, and then use the night cream. Because the this is more of the... The treatment with the night cream, we get oh, 24 like hours with the day cream. It's kind of greasy. Well, it depends how much you, you put okay. on. Okay. Yeah. So we put a lot on. Yeah. All right, this is the night cream. And then this is the night cream. That's good. Okay. And it's darker. <laughs> and you might want to give it a smell, see if you smell the scent on that. Mmm. Yeah, 99% of the people do enjoy the, the scent of it. They do. Um, because everybody's, you know, system's a little bit different. Right. But I personally like it a lot. It's almost like, I don't know why, but pineapple-y to me. <laughs> I don't know why. So this is not as, this is like oily. You can even see it on my hand. Well, because the day cream is, um, it is slicker because mm -hmm. it's thinner than, than the night cream, just so people can put on their, their makeup. Because if it's too thick, the, the makeup won't really interact too, too well. Very yeah, nice. so the company's had great results. Um, they put about 10 years of study into, you know, researching it. And it was an accidental discovery. They were yeah. actually doing they're actually doing medical research with people that had some significant skin issues, like of a uh, medical nature, and they're doing research with it, and they weren't seeing major changes with that. However, the the people in the study were saying, "Wow, my, my skin's smoother, and these these crow's feet were diminishing. These lines I had in my forehead were, were getting less." So they kind of like, "Whoops!" We found out that this really works in this way. So they kind of went down the path of you know letting people know this is great for diminishing those issues. Are these the only three products from Nerium? Yeah, Nerium AD, right. So Nerium International is the name of the company. These are the only three products? At the it? moment. They they don't like to throw out a whole bunch at once. Okay. Uh, they are going to be having, I know there's going to be at least another one, interesting you mentioned it, for like um, like circles under the eyes and okay. puffiness, things like that. Uh, but the co-founder and CEO, Jeff Olson, has a uh, kind of almost like a mantra that he likes to go by and apply to the company of go slow in order to go fast. So a lot of companies, when they come out with products, they do a you know a big whole catalog all over the world. They just started solely with the night cream. Did that for the first year and a half, almost two years, and they only did the night cream in the United States. 
and they actually did $100 million of sales in their first year just wow. with this. Like it literally set industry records. And that was the first year. The second year they did $219 million, mainly in the States, only with that one product. Then they came out when things were solidified, they came out with the day cream. That took off after that. Um, and the firm came out maybe two or so months ago. And that's been like that's been going crazy. Yeah. Uh, maybe because of the timing with you know summer coming up, I don't right. know. But people are seeing amazing results with that. And it's it's been exciting to see. Yeah, and my mom's a big this. fan of this stuff as well, which is kinda cool. Contour cream. I want to mm -hmm. try this. Yep. Are there many distributors um, in the New York area? For those in New York, there actually are not many at the moment, which is good uh, based on the business model that we have. Mm -hmm. So one reason why this is great is the company is focused on actually helping people become better people. Um, yes, they have a product for people to purchase, et cetera, but why it's a, it was a great match for me is they're very much into personal growth and development about your attitude, your mindset. So that's right up my alley. That's interesting. So it, yeah, it's fantastic. So it's not just like, it's not a skincare company solely. Mm -hmm. It almost occurs to me, and this is just my opinion, like it's a personal growth and development company that has an amazingly effective you know, cost-efficient skincare line. So it's like a win-win for me. So I'm around super positive, you know, fun, ambitious people that want to help other people succeed. And at the same time, I'm also benefiting, you know, from being around those people, almost like a mastermind group, if you will, mm -hmm. um, but also benefiting financially as well. But knowing the financial part isn't like the main focus. Right. Because I know if that's the focus, it's not really going to work. It's like, how can I help you? Whether it's, you know, with the cream, the product, or help you build your business. Right. Because I know it, kind of talking about the inmates, whatever I mm -hmm. put out is going to come back. That's right. And I actually, just a few days ago, June 30th, uh, Monday, um, from the company, I qualified for a free Lexus. What? From the company. So people are like, oh, did you get it yet? I'm like, no, I got to pick out which one I want. That's awesome. It's really cool. Yeah. So I got to pick out which one. It so have you been aggressively promoting this or just passively in a um, year's time? Part time. So somewhere in between. Because I'm still doing the physical therapy and mm -hmm. I can't really do this so much with the inmates. I mentioned it to some of the officers here and there, but uh, I really just, you know, in conversation with people, or I might mention it on Facebook, you know, have you heard of Miriam? Have you heard of the company? You know, I have something you might want to check out, and I just do it like that. It's not not pushy, hard mm -hmm, sales because mm -hmm. my training is health and wellness. Right. I don't know marketing. I don't know sales. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. No one wants to do it. So I just invite people to look at something, and they see what they see. They have the same vision that I have. So they hop cool. on board. Yeah. It's awesome. And with, with the, the record they have, it's going to grow really big. So those in New York, mm -hmm. it's really big in California because okay. everything kind of starts out there. Right. Big out there. It's kind of coming east. Um, but I'm actually looking for people interested in doing this with me as well. Very um, good. Because I do have some spots open at the top of my organization mm -hmm. for those ambitious, fun, open-minded people. People listening to your show mm -hmm. or watching your show would be the kind of person I'd love to talk to about this. And what's your contact phone number? My phone number for contact uh, would be 917-447-6239. You can call me. You can text me. Again, 917-447-6239. Uh, and again, the website, real briefly, uh, www.jaugust dot a real breakthrough dot com that's a cool website yeah, yeah. a real breakthrough i like that mm -hmm. are there any animal products in this it's not cream? no animal products and it's not animal tested that, oh that's good which to know. which i'm not surprised at least people that i know they they often ask that mm -hmm. so it's not animal tested very good no, there's no uh no propylene glycol uh, no phthalates no parabens you know things like that so the body mechanic would be happy to hear that oh i'm sure he, <laughs> he's gonna be all over that um, yeah, because that was a big part of it as well, because I recently was learning the last few years about what's in mm -hmm. food and products and my shampoo and my toothpaste and my deodorant. And I'm like, well, what's in this? Yeah. You know, and I might agree with more of some things than others, but in general, the products are great. The company is awesome. Um, the opportunity to be time freedom, to have time freedom and financial freedom mm -hmm. is amazing with the company. And it's really great positioning. And actually, we just opened up all of Canada uh, July 1st a few days ago. Nice. So we were only in the States. Now we're in Canada. Uh, soon to be Mexico, Brazil, and then the Far East of uh, Japan, South Korea, China, and it's just going to go from there. When's your next annual conference? Actually, it's in Long Beach, California mm. in October. So it's great to be you know, in Southern California in October versus right. you know, uh, New York. And actually, we have a really big, so those that are you know listening to the show now, um, somebody who's part of my team, who's grown a huge business, helped hundreds and hundreds of people grow the business, will be here in Edison, well, not here, but Edison, New Jersey, next Saturday. 
which isn't too far from, from the city or Long Island. Right. So if somebody has an interest, definitely contact me you know, uh, through the website or my, my cell phone. I'm on Facebook. I'm on LinkedIn, Jonathan A. August on Facebook. Um, I think I'm actually wearing this shirt on, on my, my picture there. But uh, July 12th in Edison, we're actually having a big event there. And July 13th in Vernon, New Jersey, we're also doing something. Nice. So the, the timing's excellent. And I don't know, maybe a thing for you or your me mechanic to look into as well. We'll see. Yeah, maybe. Uh huh. Oh, I'm interested. Well, so what kind of Lexus are you going to pick out? What kind of Lexus? Uh huh. Um, I, I don't know if I should get an SUV <laughs> or a, um, like a, a, four, a four door. I, I kind of like the concept of a convertible. But that, that back spot, not that I'll be in the back. Right. Unless I get a chauffeur. It's real else. small. It's, it's tight, and I have a dog, and it'd be kind of tight for him. And so the dog probably, is big? Well, he's like 60 pounds. So he's, he's not tight. He could fit back there, but he'd be kind of tight, you know, moving around. <laughs> so I'm probably going to get a regular four-door or an SUV. I've never had an SUV. Do you, you know much about them? Or yeah, any I've, thoughts, had, I've had several. I, I, I'm, I love convertibles. Mm -hmm. No, I, I love the, yeah, the yeah. concepts. I love convertibles. Mm -hmm. Well, that's awesome. SUVs, you know, you got an eight-cylinder, lots of gas. Mm. We're looking at four dollars already. Mm -hmm. So yeah, look at all those those aspects. Mm -hmm. I get a sexy two-seater. Does Lexus have that? Oh, you have that now. No, that's what I would get if I were you. Does Lexus have a two-seater? Yeah, don't they? I'm not a car guy. Oh, I think they. I'm I'm cool that getting a car paid by somebody else. Right. I don't, right. I, don't, I, don't <laughs> honestly, I don't know much about cars. Oh, that's gonna be exciting yeah. picking one out. No, it's gonna be cool. I, I guess the only limitation they have is it's one of three colors, I think. Oh, that's it? I don't know. Oh, that's interesting. I was always focused on a white something anyways. It's probably white, cream, or, blue, or gray. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's white, silver, <laughs> and maybe blue. I'm not, I'm not sure. Listen, yeah. if it's paid for, who cares? That, well, that's I'm like, I don't, I don't really care. That's cool. As long as it doesn't have to be plaid or something like that. Although I was at the, uh, the Javits Center for the Car Expo uh -huh. uh, like a month or two ago, and I did get in a car and I took a picture they had, uh, I forgot the brand, but they had painted all around it, like the Muppets, uh -huh. you know, and there was like Animal and Gonzo or whatever, uh -huh. and I was like poking out. So if it was a car paid for, I'd drive around in the Muppet Mobile if need be, because the car would be paid for. So, and, and the timing's great, because I need one now. Okay. My Beamer's all beat up. Uh. It's super get delicious. <laughs> It's like the, the light is taped <laughs> on and like I'm missing one of the plastic thingies. It looks like Leon Spinks, like missing a tooth. You have duct um, tape on your BMW? On like the Stop. light thing. Otherwise, no, the, otherwise the light Jonathan. hangs out like a, like a C-3PO <laughs> and his eyeball falls out in Star Wars. And I didn't, it's like, kid, I'm not going to get it fixed. It's like a 98. It's got like 150,000 miles. So I'm like, Aww. duct tape. In my neighborhood, it's not, it doesn't really fit. You know, okay. a duct tape Beamer. It's usually like nice Beamers, Mercedes, Audis, Maseratis, right, right. and here I am. <laughs> but I'm like, whatever, it gets me around. That and my Vespa. That's cool. They got a little wink wink. Yeah. Give us your contact information again. I shall. Um, <laughs> so cell phone to uh, call or text 917-447-6239. Uh, www.jaugust.arealbreakthrough.com. I'm also on Facebook and LinkedIn. Just type in Jonathan A. August. And I'm... Probably somewhere else on there. Just if you Google me, I'm sure I, I pop up there. So I'd love to hear from you again. If you do contact me, mention the body shop. Um, if you wind up, you know, hopping on board, doing some of the work with me, which is really super simple, or buy some of the product, I'll definitely have a little special surprise for you. Cool beans. So rumor has it that the body mechanic has surfaced to Earth. I welcome him. So we're gonna take a mm -hmm. break. When we come back, we'll have the body mechanic joining us. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville and we're in Concord, New York. And we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patients' cervical spine. 
This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to pr improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkoma, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me. Uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you. Welcome back to Body Shop TV. Guess what, folks? Look who's in the house. The body mechanic. Welcome to Body <laughs> Shop TV, body mechanic. I feel like you're a guest. So nice to you're have so you here. <laughs> it's so nice to have you here with us today. Shelly, you saw me two weeks ago. Don't even try it. I think it's been a month ago, no, body mechanic. I saw you just before I went to St. Kitts. I don't remember that. Anyway, how have you been? We missed you. I am excellent. Yeah? Excellent. Uh, Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, but the light is orange and I like my drawers. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I pushed it in. I don't know how to put Oh, it's green. All systems go. Jonathan, got to yes. push a little bit deeper. Yes, yes yeah. a little bit deeper. I, I'm, a very, I'm a very shallow kind of guy. So, um, Chella, I... Wait. Spent the anniversary with you and your and your parents the other day. Don't you get see? Oh right, right, right. right. Oh, that was no, no, me no, no. That's a next to you. No, that's a different world. I'm talking about this world. Oh, oh, body yeah. shot blue world. This couch. Right, oh, yeah. right, right, oh, right. I see. I... It's been a long time, about ah, a month. I see, I see. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of Facebook messages and emails and texts. Are you doing the show by yourself now, Chella? Really? See, it, appears, it appears. It appears that again. way. This is the Chella show, anyway. It's, a chella. it's called Body Chella Show. <laughs> That's right. No. So tell um, us about your trips. Oh, where do I start? Well, you know, I was supposed to go to Costa Rica, and mm -hmm. that trip fell through. Pour water to the building, to the house, and blah blah blah. 
and I didn't want to go with people who, because I could, you know, I can, I can do whatever. I can figure it out. But when you have to rely on other, when other people are in the same situation, uh -huh. not everyone can handle wild animals and cougars and chickens and wild boars. Me, you know, I'm just one with nature, so it doesn't bother me. So <laughs> I ended up having another trip booked and to go somewhere else and ended up in St. Kitts. Well, let me tell you something. I was definitely supposed to be there. Why? Why mm. do you say that? Oh, my gosh. First of all, the island is small and intimate. Uh -huh. There's two islands, actually. There's St. Kitts and then there's Nevis. Nevis, you can get to Nevis from St. Kitts by a foot ferry, or you can actually drive your car and go over to Nevis. Um, one of the things that I experienced in the island, first and foremost, were the people. The people were very warm and endearing, and, and the food. Apparently, St. Kitts has some of the richest soil in the Caribbean. Yeah. So I got to spend time on an organic farm. Literally, there are no pesticides. Now, I don't know anywhere <laughs> in the U.S. where you can go and there's no pesticide residue wow. because everywhere I walk, I see the land of the walking dead. Now... So, mangoes are falling on the ground. There were pineapples. Mm. There were, uh, he had different kinds of pineapples. He had breadfruit. He had kale. He had, he had um, cashews. He had mm. strawberries. He had wild cashew leaves? Wild, he had cashew fruit. So, the actual cashew, cashew mm. yes, that's what cashews, let me tell you something. This is what's crazy, one. folks. <laughs> you know, I don't know how much you know about, you know, I'm learning to really, really appreciate food. When I see a bag of almonds, and you know, you see a bag of almonds, it might have 100 almonds in there. Did you know that the seed of one almond is literally almost two inches big for one almond? Mm. One wow. almond. So uh, he had cashew fruit. It looks like an apple, mm -hmm. and the cashew grows on the top, and then that has to be, the, the, the shell has to be broken and pull the cashew out because the actual, that shell is toxic to its environment. To, to its environment. Is it attached to a leaf? It's attached, it's a tree, and then there's a, there's a cashew, and then there's this piece of fruit that goes below, it looks like an apple. So by the way, those are the cashew leaves that I want to bring to this country, remember? What? <laughs> oh no, we're going back down. Let me tell you something, folks. This tri I could talk for four months about this trip. Just so many things happen, and you know how we want to have a retreat. Mm -hmm. And I definitely want to live in another place or just back and forth, but definitely be somewhere tropical because, I mean, we can heal here, but it's done very slowly because there's so many toxins and things. But when you're on an island and you have access to ocean spray and there's minerals coming from the ocean, you have the sun, you have the green foliage. I mean, don't get me started. Even though people down there may not have the accoutrement that we have here, they live a much healthier lifestyle. I don't care what anyone says. Every time I travel, I leave this country, I come back healthier. And I eat the same foods. Every time I travel, I come back healthy. <clears throat> Resting pulse is lower, blood pressure is lower, calmer, skin is nice. Don't get me started. Diving, some of the best diving I've ever done. Yeah. I've done 50 dives. The most inc I saw sea life I've never seen before. Wow. And then I met this guy named Kenneth Samuels, this wonderful black man. He's like, I think he's like four feet, <laughs> has a little ponytail. But he's known all throughout the Caribbean. He's one of the first black free divers. And they couldn't develop wow. a team around him. And he's had a diving operation for 40 years. He's been diving for 57 years. So when I went on the boat, they treated me like royalty. And then when I, when I came back, I actually had an opportunity to spend time with him. And he's a legend. Um, what's interesting is, you know, the kind of work that we do, you know, with, 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 uh, with with wellness and relationships, but more on, on the wellness side, he owned a pharmacy at times, so he knew about nutrition, and he's just a naturalist. We just, we, we talked, it was like I'd known him forever. And one of the things that he said to me, he's even created artificial reefs around the island with planes and various things. And he says, when you come back, I will take you to places that no one else knows about. I cannot wait to get back down there. And then I talked about the business aspect of it, and he's like, this place is wide open. Check this out, Cella. On this island, there is one wellness practitioner. One, between both islands, she's a chiropractor and has got the island sewed up. Mm. And I met people who worked for her. I made all these alliances. I actually did three house calls down there. 
I was sitting down after I did some snorkeling, and a guy approached me, asked me who I was, and I talked about the show and the things that I do. And he says, really interesting, because I just visited my primary care doctor, and he told me that I will never, ever be able to get rid of my hypertension. And I said to him, that doctor should be banned from his practice. Hypertension is a food disorder, <laughs> not a genetic disposition. So I did a house call. I talked with his daughter, who's going into sciences, and his wife. And they had a couple of health conditions. And within two days, the whole island knew about it. They're waiting for, waiting for, for me to come back down there. This lady has no competition. She's a chiropractor, and all she does is she sells herbal remedies. And they're so astronomical that only the wealthy people on the island can afford it. It's wide open. 30,000 people on that island, and I think there's 8,000 on the small island. Wow. And you have access by all other islands. Daily flights go in there. Let me tell you, it was so crazy that when I was leaving, in my bag, because I start, whenever I travel, I start sprouting trays. And I sprout lentils. So by the third day, I have sp actual bean sprouts to eat. And um, when, I was, when we were flying out, I was in the immigration line, and they asked what was in my bag. And I pulled out a brown bag of sprouts. Right? And I started explaining to them about the sprouts, blah, blah, blah. Next thing you know, all the immigration people around me asking me how to sprout. That's how wide open it is. <laughs> people are ready for That's health cool. and nutrition. It's just wide open. Um, oh, my God. I feel like I'm still there. It's incredible. Incredible. That's cool. Yeah, I had a great trip. That's so, cool. like, even though the other trip fell through, St. Kitts is where I was supposed to be. Interesting. And so many, I mean, I'm, I'm literally only talking about 10% of what happened. That, mm. that organic farm... He's a Rastafari. He has five children, and the children are beautiful and healthy. Even the animals that were... <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Let me tell you. We were riding around the island, and the goats, the <laughs> goats were beautiful. I wanted to hug and kiss them <laughs> because the land is so fertile and the food is so healthy. <clears throat> it's incredible. That's neat. But, you know, in the city, I saw Church's Chicken. I saw KFC. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right. McDonald's. Well, one of the things that I explained to some of the people that I talked to was... The problem with oil, and I, we're going to have a show on that. I mean, I wanted to talk about it before, before I left. Five of the leading oils in the U.S. are genetically modified, and most people don't know that. And the deal between a cold-pressed oil and a chemically extracted oil is the chemical resin that's actually in the oil. Not only that, when you heat that oil up, it's rancid, and it's one of the leading causes of inflammation in your vascular walls, and also glycation. That's something we could talk about another time. But heart disease really increased in this country the introduction of those genetically modified oils. And no one talks about the oil. And everywhere we go, if you eat a French fry, if you eat something that's fried in oil, these businesses are, trust me when I tell you, they are not pouring vats of olive oil in there to cook your food, and they're not pouring coconut oil in there. So be careful what you are eating because over time you will be a pill taker like 90 percent of the western population body mechanic uh, yes. jonathan is a physical therapist yeah i know i met i met him at um at um ellen's place oh you remember him? The yeah of course i remember oh, okay, him okay okay I mean, I know that I'm out of the belt, but my memory's She good. kind of forgot, you know, your event that you no, had, No, we too, talked to him. Talk oh, really? oh. I remember talking to him. He talked, he worked oh. in the prison system. He talked yeah. about okay. everything. Yeah. yeah. I, it was I know I'm getting old, but my brain is like, you know, it still works a little bit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I liked him when I met him. Okay, cool, cool. So, man, you know, I listened a little bit when I came in. Because, you know, I, like, Chella knows much. me. I'm really, when it comes to my body and my skin, I'm really anal about what I put. In fact, sure. I only shower four times a month. I don't put any chemicals. I don't drink chlorinated water. I don't mm. shower in it because it destroys vitamin D. I'm just, I don't use deodorants. I, you know, I don't put any creams on my skin. Why would I use this? He's a caveman. Really? No deodorants at all? Literally. Nothing, ever. Oh, and I have okay. no scent. Well, it makes sense. If you're eating well. And if I'm calm, because one of the things about scent also, when your <clears> body <throat> produces a lot of adrenaline, it has a funky odor. Like cortisol, things like oh, that. Oh, yeah, you could smell yeah, it. That makes sense. And because of my tranquil environment being around Chella, Usa. I don't have that. Yeah. <laughs> what happened, Chella? Your eyeballs almost I'm fell out. I'm just looking there. at the screen. This is like eye candy. Look at this. <laughs> what would happen? The two of you, both of my size. <laughs> oh, you oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, tell me, like, why would someone like me want to put that on my skin? Somebody like you? 
Oh, okay, okay. I don't know if no, you, you know would. You're right. No, no, no. You're right. Somebody no, no, like, somebody like you I'm different because there are a lot yeah. of people who are becoming conscious like me who understand. Yeah. But, okay, so why would why would someone yeah. use your product? What? Tell me what it does. I know that you went over cello, but just, just mm -hmm. briefly. Well, actually, to answer that first thing, somebody like you, I mean, you're pretty extreme. Not that that's bad. I mean, I, I would love to. I like to your words. That's one thing I like when I met you, mm -hmm. that you use powerful words. Uh. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, though, like, I... 100% with you on all that. I just haven't been able to, thus far, create that for myself in my structured life or whatever. But it makes sense. No pun intended on the sense. Um, <laughs> but, uh, like, it might not be for you because you're like, I don't use anything. So I'd be like, oh, don't. Uh, however, for those that are okay with, um, you know, products like this, it does help with diminishing, you know, lines and wrinkles and uh, spots, uh, it's kind of smooths out the uh, texture, but it's kind of bumpy on some people that they may have gotten from stress, excess McDonald's, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so this might help diminish the effects of all those other things. A lot of it probably is mental, like the mental stress probably creates the you know the release of hormones or chemicals it does. in the body. It, it, it the breaks it production, down. which breaks down yeah. fossil network under the skin, mm -hmm. so it, it actually breaks down collagen. And that's what causes it to mm -hmm. collapse. And they're probably but, dehydrated as well. With right. The collagen and the dehydration, it's going to yeah, collapse. Well, my skin feels really, really good. Feel how nice and soft this is. My skin is soft anyway. This is the day cream. This is the night like cream. Like butter. I just missed touching your hand. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, yes, that's very nice cream. Hold on. Oh, yes. Maybe I should get a bottle. <laughs> well, you want to try it to see what it feels like? Just on your sure, skin? I'll try it. So, actually, do this one first. This is the night cream. I like that smell. It's still and on there's me. And there's a, well, botanical scent to that. You actually smell something with that one. And I that's like that. And that's thicker. So there's actually more of the uh, the treatment, the extract that's from uh, the Nerean plant in there. Yeah, smell that for a sec. See if you smell anything. You probably will. Cause so while I'm experiencing this, mm -hmm. because when I met you, I mean, you understand these things and you're quite healthy yourself. Mm -hmm. So what is your motive behind promoting this product? Is it... Strictly financial, because I, you know, I heard you talking about your Lexus and you know your mm -hmm. duct tape, you know your beaver. <laughs> yeah, so oh, it's. Yeah. <laughs> what is your motivation for? So, this? the biggest thing that was a positive for me regarding uh, the company was the fact that they are very much into. They mentioned Unbreak a little bit, and I think a little bit before they are very much into personal growth and development, and really helping people become better people. I like that. Um, because, because they're selling their product? No, no, no. Just, just because of like, the, the attitude and culture of the people that are distributors or, or brand partners is what we are. That are part so of, it's a not because I view it as a, <clears throat> this is my personal view. Others might disagree, which is fine. A personal growth and development company that happens to have a very effective and cost efficient skincare line. So if it was just a company that was literally just about selling the thing, I probably wouldn't do it because I'd be like, I could do any other company or whatever. But the founder and CEO of the company, uh, Jeff Olson, who's created other companies in the past very successfully, they become multi, multi, you know, multi hundred million dollar companies. What kind of companies has he? Um, um, he actually had, I think it was called TPN, the People's Network. I think it was in the 90s, 80s, 90s. Um, I didn't know of it till I joined uh, with Nerium, uh, but it was a personal development company. And they had almost like this, that there was like there were shows, there were audios, uh, like about you know finances and health and wellness, okay. et cetera, et cetera. So that was like his focus back then. Mm -hmm. And then um, there's another couple companies, I don't remember too much of the details, but from speaking to people about his background, he does things in integrity and very successfully. And one thing that was awesome that I don't think you'll find with any other leader of a company like this, or very, very few, small, uh, small circle, he was invited to speak on March 20th at the UN which, do you know what March 20th was by chance? No. Okay, it was like International Day of Happiness. Oh, yes, yes. Like you might know that. just because of like, you know, who you be. I'm like, oh, you might know. Right. Other people, no clue. Right. So, and we actually had boards all over the states about, you know, be happy, live happy, et cetera, et cetera. Like, really pushing that, you know, like your attitude. And he was invited to speak at the UN on March 20th about happiness, not about the business. He wasn't there as Nerium guy. He was there as a, you know, known as a business person, and his focus was, we know that um, happiness will lead to success. It's not flipped. It's not if you have the money, if you have the car, mm. then you'll be happy. Your happiness does not come from the thing, the material X, Y, Z. He's like, I know that. We know that. However, if you know that if you just have this happiness for just the 
create it. You don't need a thing. Just be happy. Then do whatever you do. You'll be successful. I completely yeah. agree. With, with whatever that. success is determined by you. Right. It's all relative. It could be like living on an organic farm and just having some goats and some pigs and some chickens and That's dogs. That's it. Scuba dive. Cool. Yeah, exactly. Some people, they want, you know, the, the millionaire boat, yacht, whatever. That's cool, too, as long as you're happy doing it and not crushing other people in the process. Mm -hmm. and you so it's like it's a win-win. Those, right. those are my words that I use. Yeah, I, I agree with you 1,000%. Yeah. Because what happened? Go ahead, are you going to say something? <laughs> you feel me, I can't speak. Ah! She stopped short. I, like, I just want to share all this happiness in the room. I just want to take a break. Okay. Okay. We'll be right back. <laughs> yes. Welcome to Formula Auto Wash, where every day is a great day for a car wash. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Detailing packages for every budget, starting out at $29.99. 100% hand wash and detail center. Hot hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly using Ecolab Blue Coral soaps and waxes. Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. Senior discounts all day, every day. Ladies Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday till 9.30 a.m. Check out our website, formulaautowash.com. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net. This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hours, famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. Welcome back to Body Shop TV. My name is Chella, 
and I have the honor of having the body mechanic, my partner, back on the couch with me. I am just so tickle pink. Thank God I'm so shy. <laughs> And we have Jonathan August. Yes, with us yes. Today. Talking about this wonderful product and um, you know, of like happiness. Yeah, of happiness. Mm. Yeah. Actually, yeah. So asking why this one? There are companies, millions of products, millions of companies. Why this one? To me, Cause you can because you can promote anything, man. It, I mean, it, look, it can look be, it could be you, anything. Man. You're like an Adonis. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got the DA. You speak well. DA. You, know, <laughs> you can be coercive if you want. I mean. Really? Old school haircut turns. Yeah, I just got it. You know. oh, yeah. Okay. okay. So, Pompadour. <laughs> but, but, you know, there are one million companies. Like, why a skincare yeah. line? Yeah. Why not like um, like uh, kangaroo poop that's good for your skin? It's, I, I don't know. Why this? I don't think there's kangaroo poop at all. <laughs> I'll go through the list if it's good for it. Um, yeah, it's, it's the main, the, the primary thing in the very beginning for me was finding out about the company. And uh, Jeff Olson, um, I don't think, I think it was just off spoke about it. So the, the co-founder and CEO, Jeff Olson, uh, actually was invited to speak at the UN. I didn't say this before. No, I want you, right? I want you to say it again on the air. Because okay, I didn't say I want it on people the air to hear this, because okay. this is a really important point. I can't remember. Um, so the co-founder and CEO, Jeff Olson, he's had other companies previously he's been very successful with, uh, one of them being the, uh, the People's Network, TPN. I didn't know of it until I joined with Nerium. Uh, it was essentially a personal growth and development company. They had, you know, lectures and talks and webinars and information about personal finances and health and wellness and relationships. You know, it was maybe a precursor to what you guys do here. Um, so he's really about helping people become better. So he had he has had that general attitude for a long time, 20, 30 years. He's essentially brought that attitude, that culture, that mindset to Nerium. So to me, that's what the company is about: helping people become better whatever better is for the individual. It's not to say you need to do this. It's like whatever, you know, your free will, you do that. And they happen to have an excellent skincare line that was an accidental discovery, essentially. They were doing, uh, Nerium Biotech was doing medical research on people with a very serious skin condition that I can't say, just due to compliance stuff, you know, the FDA, you know, can't treat, diagnose, cure, et cetera. Right, but there, right, there is right. medical research being done with people with serious skin issues and it wasn't really you know, having the results they wanted regarding the skin issues, but they were noticing, wait, my, my, you know, my crow's feet are changing and the spot that I had is diminishing. So it was discovered that this really helped diminish those lines and wrinkles and large pores, uh, loose skin, aging skin kind of tightened up. So, so the Nerium Biotech had, the, had the, uh, the product. Through their research, they found Jeff Olson. They knew his background, his record. So they got they, him to promote. They met, they're like, what do you think about doing this? He researched them. They use their chin. They're like, all right, let's do this. So I hopped on board based on what Olson is about. And the thing that he did March 20th, uh, some people would know it's, it was an international day of happiness. I think it was labeled uh, through the UN. So all over the world, they had events going on. And on March 20th, Jeff Olson was invited to speak at the UN because of what they know he's doing with this company, the attitude mm. he's bringing, he's infusing into what it's about. And um, he spoke for about 15, 20 minutes. It's on YouTube. I think if you Google, you know, Jeff Olson, UN talk. Mm -hmm. um, and his speech was definitely about, or just mainly about, you know, happiness being the precursor to success. Again, success is individualized. Not having the thing being successful leading to happiness. It's not having the car, having the money, having the house, having the, the job with the title, et cetera. He's like, it's not that. But if you be happy, and that's just who you it are. It the doors. And you do whatever you want have a local cable show thing, you know, travel the world, do whatever. If you're just starting from happiness, you're going to attract people and events and situations and circumstances that it's just going to work. It's contagious. It just is. I mean, it's law of attraction or call it God's right. will or call it whatever you want. There is a force with different labels to it, depending on religion or spiritual or whatever, that happens. And he just says, if you're happy and you do the thing, you'll be good. And so it was that attitude that was like a huge part for me and from what I heard about the product and the results and the industry that they're in of beauty, anti-aging, et cetera, that I was like, I'm in. Let's, let's go for it. And are, the you are you a happy guy? Am I a happy guy? Yeah, he oh, is. Oh, totally. Yeah, he is. I think I'm known on Facebook mainly as like fitness and positive guy. I think that's my brand. And, yeah. you know, be generous. So I have a, I have a question, <laughs> Jonathan. By the way, this is not a local cable show. We're in 180,000 cities worldwide. Just I mean, FYI. worldwide, sorry. Just <laughs> FYI. My bad. Yeah. Do you have many African-American clients using this product? 
I don't have a lot at the moment. Have you seen many African American individuals involved in promoting this project product? I have seen a few, and a actually, few. yeah, I mean, it's probably almost in any company, and it might vary by product, possibly, or geography. Mm -hmm. um, but I actually don't know if there's m very many African American people that are in this business model. I mean, compared to you know percentages. The reason why um, I ask is because. Although it promotes reducing wrinkleness and, and what have you, black doesn't really crack. Mm -hmm. That's what I've heard, and you mentioned that to me mm -hmm. when we first met. I've heard that from many, many people. I was like, oh, interesting. And actually, uh, an African-American woman I met who's in Nirim, who's an esthetician, mm -hmm. she said the same thing. She's like, however, there is a, a predominance or um, what happens sometimes is uh, issues with hyperpigmentation or spots. Mm -hmm. So that seems to be like, you know, right. their thing. Pick whereas, the, whereas the white folks kind of have like the cracking thing. Right. Black folks have like the spot thing. Like the woman you so, met earlier mm -hmm. in the green room. Yeah. So everybody's got something. Mm -hmm. So uh, she's like, oh, no, she's like, I've heard that. And there, there's something to it. something about the melanin or whatnot. And you guys probably know, there's probably rationale or scientific basis behind it. Um, but yeah, there's a little, it, it benefits people in different ways. Okay. And it's not for everybody, which I'm clear on that. Right. But, um yeah, it's been a great experience, and I'm constantly surrounded by, you know, ambitious people, people who want to have fun, people who want to help other people be successful, because mm -hmm. they know if I help this other person, you know, it'll come back to me. But it's not in a greedy, you know, my, my dad had a phrase way back when, you know, may you rest in peace, uh, you know, hooray for me to hell with you. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not that. Mm -hmm. It can't be, I'm going to get mine, and I'll crush you. I don't really care what happens. It's like, let's help you get yours, and then just by the way it works, I'll get mine. Yep. Pay it forward. So this is a product, something that once you start using it, you should continue to use it, I'm assuming. Yes. Well, you'll see the benefits. Yeah, you'll and see you'll the benefits. Want to. And one thing that, that's interesting, people say, well, let me try it, see if it works. However, from the studies that they've done, and if people you know, contact me, I could send specific videos that are uh, specific to clinical studies, safety studies, um, things like that. Um, it works. It's a matter of are you going to let it work with you? Mm -hmm. It's not like, let me see if it works. No, that, that part's been done and handled, um, which, is, which is great to have. Like, they did 10 years of research on this stuff. And how long has the product been out on the market? Nerium as a company is coming up on three years, so it's really new. Three years. Yeah. Uh, it was late August, I think, of, oh, sorry, of 11 when it came out. How, was the, mm -hmm. how was the pricing? Uh, the, the lowest that somebody could get it, if somebody wants to be a preferred customer, which is getting it uh, every month. Uh, the night cream, which is the, the darker bottle, uh, that can go for 80. Uh, the day cream is 40. And the firm, I believe, is 70 on a um, 70 or 80 on an auto ship basis. However, they run a lot of, whole lot of promotions. And a big thing, again, because of Jeff Olson, he really wants to give back a lot. So if somebody is even a customer, not doing the business aspect, which I'm participating in, if somebody does the business and they just happen to share, oh, hey, Marge, I'm using this thing. It's great for my skin. And, or somebody says it, and what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm using this thing. If somebody gets the product through you, and if you have three people that do that, you'll get yours for free. Because the company says if you're going to tell other folks and they're going to get it because you get a free website, they'll give you your product for free. So that 80 goes away. Um, and also if somebody happens to get, you know, they have a little combo pack. You know, if somebody gets those two together, the day and the night cream, you do that for three months, you'll get the day cream free for the rest of your life. That's kind of a cool incentive, especially if somebody likes it and they're always going to get it. The company doesn't have to do that. How long does this size bottle last? A month. Really? I mean, well, they, they say four to five pumps per application. So if you do like That's 12, if you do 12, well, it's going to run out faster. Because you know how Americans are. Well, more, more is better. They're like, more is better, yeah. you know? <laughs> like 500,000 IUs of vitamin E is better for you. Wait a minute, mm -hmm. four or five pumps per application? Yeah, like, it, like at night. You know, four, I mean, it comes out. It's not a whole lot. Oh, all right. Yeah, just it's not that not very much that comes out. And then so basically that lasts about thirty days, assuming you use four to five. Uh, same with the day cream. So it's about two hundred a month. Um, dollars? If you did them all? Well, actually, they have if you if somebody gets these three together, it's one fifty. Oh. Like, cause, cause they do something stupid. I don't know how they do it, but if you did the the combo, it's like those three together. This basically comes for thirty bucks. And what is that? The big container. Oh, what so. Is that? This is uh, the Nerium Firm, and this is uh, the body contouring cream. It's essentially helping with cellulite is the main issue that most people know of. So it helps firm, tighten, tone certain areas. Uh, for women, especially those that had kids, maybe certain stretch marks, helps with that. Um, it, got, gets, it gets rid of cellulite? Yes. Wow. 
and, and tell him the ingredient. Well, the, the main active ingredient, because there's, there's a few. The main active one is called NAE8, which is from the near, nerium oleander plant. So that's an extract they took from the plant to use as, that's like most of the treatment in there. Um, and also another thing to mention, you know, where the firm is good, a lot of guys, well, it could be women too, but a lot of guys, whether they're, you know, bodybuilders, powerlifters, or just lost a lot of weight, you know, stretch marks around the shoulders, that's, you know, a big, big thing for people. Um, love handles, those are like the main focus areas where that actually has the most benefit. And Nerium appeared in Success Magazine? Yeah, they're actually in, so this was the, the June issue of Success, Ma uh, Success Magazine. Actually, I think it's the third time they've been highlighted in the magazine, which for a company who's not three years that's old good. yet, that's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. And they've been highlighted that many times, mainly because of the success that the company, which is made up of the people within the company, like myself, are having with it. And it's mainly because we have great leadership, Jeff Olson, an amazing product that works at a price that is Affordable. pretty good, especially for the big cities. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're in a small town in Iowa, however, there actually there is a large team in Iowa that's doing very well. For eighty dollars and forty for those together that you could actually get for free, it's it's really tough to beat because Jeff is basically focusing on give, 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 mm -hmm. give, give, and it's all coming back. Right. That's why the company did a hundred million dollars of sales their first year only with the night cream only in the United States. Most companies have a whole full catalog of like you know thirty eight pages of things all over the world. Yeah. They are the fastest growing company in this industry ever with one product in one country. And they just opened up in Canada, the rest of Canada, July 1st. Well, what's interesting is that most cosmetic companies actually do quite well because we live in an esoterical society and it's all about what people see initially. Mm -hmm. And it's just like uh, cosmetics and makeup. All of them do well. I mean, all women will use them and it's, mm. you know. So uh, sounds awesome, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, kudos to you, man. If it works for you, I mean, all we can do is try and see how it works. And yeah. Well, if you guys would give it a shot, yeah. see what you think. I would love to. Um, give us your contact yeah. information again. Sure. My cell phone. This could be interesting. <laughs> that many people all over. Uh, so my cell is 917. <laughs> <laughs> stuff, from, stuff from like cities. Belarus. <laughs> uh, like it's 011. <laughs> uh, my cell phone is 917. Four four seven six two three nine. You can call me or text me there. Um, and also, just so you know, if you are literally out of the United States, um, it's only available to purchase in all of Canada and the United States right now. However, we will be in Mexico, Brazil, and the Far East, uh, like South Korea, Japan, China, soonish. So um, just want to let you know that. Uh, website www.jaugust, like the month, dot arealbreakthrough.com. So you can go to the, the website. There's a link there. Again, if you contact me, mention the show. Uh, if you wind up you know, participating with me in the business opportunity, which is outstanding, or if you become a customer, I will have a special bonus offer for you know, people from the show. Um, also, you can find me on LinkedIn and Facebook. On Facebook, it's Jonathan A. August. Awesome. Jonathan, we really enjoyed having yes. you here at Body no, Shop my TV. Pleasure. No, you guys, so much. you guys rock. It's good to see you again, Awesome. Man. Yeah. And definitely stay in touch with us. Oh, 100%. All yes. right. Especially when you get the Lexus. I qualified for it a few days ago. I just got to actually pick it up. Yeah? Yeah. yeah that's really cool. Stay that's tuned. Awesome. We'll be right back. Actually, I was going to see if there's a Lexus. Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville and run Cockman, New York. And we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patient's cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response, 
And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to pr improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkoma, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me. Uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you. Are you planning an event and want to include entertainment, but you're not sure where to turn? Act1Entertainment.net has provided over 1,500 events with quality, affordable live entertainment at private parties, corporate affairs, festivals, bike rallies, and more. Act1 will fit into your budget. They're friendly, reliable, and do all the legwork for you. They take all major credit cards. Log on to Act1Entertainment.net for a free, no-obligation price quote, or call 631-758-3505 for a brochure. You'll be happy you did. Freshness, softness, and static control has never been easier with the Bounce Dryer Bar. I just stick it to the inside of my dryer, and I never have to remember. Oh! Old Spice Body Spray makes you smell like power! It's so powerful, it sells itself in other people's commercials! You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like power. Yeah, I do! <laughs> power! Ba -ba 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 power! Try this routine to feel fresh and clean. Pair Charmin Fresh Mates with your Charmin. Oh, Old Spice Body Spray is too powerful to stay in its own commercial. That's right. Ba -ba 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 power. Whoa. Old Spice Body Spray can change a regular smelling man into a man who smells like power. 
No, how is this? Ah! Wow, you know what? I actually do feel more power. Potato chips! <laughs> power! It's me! I am Tom Mealy for the Harrison Law Group, and I have been telling you for years that getting involved in an automobile accident is no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. If you've been involved in an accident of any kind, and you go to a law firm that says you have no case, it's simple. It's because they can't do it, and they don't get it. You need to call us directly at 1-800-INJURY-LAW. Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hour. Famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hour. Famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan.
I am Tom Mealy for the Harrison Law Group, and I have been telling you for years that getting involved in an automobile accident is no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. If you've been involved in an accident of any kind, and you go to a law firm that says you have no case, it's simple. It's because they can't do it, and they don't get it. You need to call us directly at 1-800-INJURY-LAW. Welcome back to Body Shop TV. My name is Shella, and look who's on the couch with Shella. <laughs> oh, the body mechanic. Hey, what's up? What's up, folks? How y'all doing out there? God, I'm still in vacation mode. Jesus Christ. Mm, it's been four weeks. Don't even try it, Shella. It's not been four weeks. Three weeks. No, it's not that long. So it's good to have you back. Where's that skin product? I want some of that product. He didn't leave any. He didn't leave us any? He didn't give you any samples. He just left. He said he'll get some. He left me a magazine. Maybe it'll be a trunk full in that Lexus he's going to get. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... So you've been well? Yes. It's been a long time. Yes, we I feel tranquil. Tranquilo. Tranquilo, that means yes. alone. Huh? Tranquilo means... Tranquil. Yeah, Calm. yeah, tranquilo. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they said over on the island. St. Kitts, tranquilo. Lobster and sunshine and scuba diving and sick people everywhere we go. Yeah, but an organic farm, like I was talking about before, is just, man, those people are beautiful. That guy that I met, his name is, uh, his name is Dexter, and I met his daughter and his, and his son. He's got five kids, and his wife is Puerto Rican. And, uh, when we got there, me, Naja, and uh, Brenda, he was actually closed. And a guy walked out and said, let me see if I can find him. And he found him, and he came and opened up the place and gave us a tour. Aww. Let me tell you how this guy was. He, had, he, he offers vegetarian. He's a vegetarian. He offers vegetarian cuisine every day, different thing. You know, it depends upon what's growing. And I remember we were there, and... He had ran out, and he had one meal for himself, and he gave it to his. He gave it to the person who came to get food. That's Aww, what kind of person he was. So it really, it was. It was really a great trip because it just really showed how important we are to each other, mm -hmm. and how that really is the most important thing. It's, it's all about people. Did Naja see that gesture? Yes, she saw. Yeah. It was all there. Everywhere we were all there listening, and he was. Dude is awesome. And uh, he's building his place. He's on like one and a half acres. And he said, we can come down there and just pitch a tent and work with him and just stay there. Wow. And then just go. I tell you, I didn't want to leave the place. You know when you're around things that are really healthy, you don't want to leave it. Mm -hmm. You feel this sense of connection. And like the fruits, like you just pick the, the mangoes off the ground. He had these small mangoes like this. They were so freaking. Oh, and the bananas. The fig, the bananas, I've never tasted a banana like that. I, I have in Colombia, <coughs> because in this country, when bananas, when you have, when bananas are shipped here from tropical regions, they're usually pulled way before they're ripe. So when they grow in these Caribbean places or where bananas grow, and they're grown to fruition or full term, mm -hmm. they're actually, chill, they're literally twice the size. And the skin actually splits. There's so much water, it splits. Wow. I eat bananas here, and my stomach hurts. I eat those bananas. Never had a bellyache. Ever. I ate tons of bananas down there. I ate tons of uh, mangoes. I must have ate 1,000 mangoes down there. We would just pick them off the ground, put them in a bag, and they charge you like 50 EC per mango. It was like, I don't know, 25 cents or something like that. And um, the, um, oh, the biggest thing was the moringa. Mm -hmm. The moringa plant, he had those growing all over his property, and he had the pineapples. And the pineapples are only that big. You know how big the pineapples that we get? Something strange going on. So the moringa um, product is very popular here. Not only they're, he, right, they're yeah. promoting it in right here. It's it grows all through South America and Africa, 
Asia grows, and also in India, and everything on the plant, uh, the tree can be used. Every wow. single thing on it. The roots, the seeds, the shell that the seeds grow in, the green leaves, the flower, the actual flower. Every single thing. And I actually have some seeds that, cool. I, that I brought back. <laughs> awesome. How do you get through customs? I, I, what? <laughs> it's too late now. You're here. If I tell you, I gotta, gonna come get you. If I gotta <laughs> tell you, if I tell you, I gotta kill you. Go ahead, tell me. How'd you get through customs? I'm not even telling Where'd you. you? Put I'm not telling you. <laughs> I put them in my wheels. Okay. That's interesting. I brought back 50 seeds. I thought you're not allowed to do that. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. Think about this, Chella. Airline processes millions of bags. Do you actually think they have time to thoroughly go through that bag? One thing they're going to test for is explosives. Right. Well, the last time I went through customs, they opened up the bags. Each bag went through it thoroughly. Well, they pulled you. You had you on the table. But this stuff was checked. You're talking about your bags with you. Your right. bags are with you. They went through it because you're taking it on the plane. Because if you have liquids or if you have powder, you can do a combination of something, say, in the bathroom and create a bomb. Right. And your stuff that goes through on the airplane is different because you don't have access to it. So they'll spot check and they'll swab it with that tester. Mm -hmm. And they're fast because they have, those bags got to be on the next plane. So they, they don't have time to sit there and thoroughly go. It's more, it's more lip service and deterrent for people mm -hmm. who are. But for people who know the system, you just can't, you can't stop it. They know the signs. They have the technology. You can't stop it. It's all luck of the draw. So, about a mechanic, I had my mom on the show last week when you were away. Yes. Yeah, it was very interesting. I Mama. Know, I know you haven't had the time to watch it because you've been so busy. Uh, but it was a very interesting show. Yeah? Yeah. I t we talked, you know, she's 80, 81. Yes. And I ran a contest to see if I could call in and guess her age. And one person called in. They said she was 80. You know, they, they didn't win. But she gave, a, she gave a very, I learned things about her that I didn't know before. It was interesting, you know, about affirmative action, the, the way she was raised, um, her going through schooling, her working But things she never shared with you. No, some things I, I didn't know before. Right. No, I just delved in and asked certain questions and um, like the affirmative action piece, which we, don't, we no longer have now. Right. It was interesting. It was very good. She enjoyed it. It's funny how different situations trigger responses. Because there's a lot of things when I was growing up, and you know, your parents just give you blanket answers. They right. don't go into detail because right. they don't think that you're capable. But children are very much capable. Mm -hmm. And then I think sometimes, because I thought about this with my daughter and my son, like when you speak to them, like how much do you actually want to share with them? Is it a burden they need to carry now? Like I see a lot of parents that talk about black power and white power and save the race and like is that stuff that you really want is that the kind of responsibility you want to bestow upon a child that is developing and trying to just pick up motor skills right like where do you start it right i i don't know it's like so and then i guess over time just life goes on mm -hmm. and you don't talk about it. you live right. and you we i think we learn more just from watching our parents and watching them interact in their environment, that's where all the learning really that's is. Right. It was cool. I felt like Oprah doing the uh, the master class interview. Yeah. Yeah. Being able right. To, oh, because because, because so your much mom. Older. Yeah, your mom has so much knowledge and just an experience. Have lived so much and seen a lot, and um, has lots of great things to share. You know, so. I'd love to have your mother and father on the couch. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's, what's interesting is that children, if they're open, like each generation should actually continue to evolve. And I mean become better. Mm -hmm. That's if the, the situation with the parent and the child is one that is open. Because I believe that a lot of times children are hampered from greatness. You know, it's funny that you mentioned that. I thought about that this morning. 
Yeah. And she talked about how when she was raised, she would get beatings. And then when she raised her children, she beat her children. And it was until it's because of the, the influx of education where she began to stop hitting on her children. And when I raised my daughter, I didn't touch my daughter. I would never ever put my hands on my children because I know just the real basics. I mean, I'm not the brightest book and haven't been the Harvard grad. That once you raise your hands, you've shut down all lines of communication. And what you do is you, can, you create a control mechanism. Mm -hmm. And once fear is instilled, that child is finished. Not only in the home, but also when they travel and they interact with the environment of the world, because there will always be fear triggers. Or even when they develop their own relationships. It's really basic. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, I'm not the smartest, uh, but I've picked up a few things along the way. That's why we try to create that open environment and loving and nurturing and positive environment so that all flowers can mm -hmm. flourish and everyone is the flower. Yeah. Everyone is. And in a perfect world, each generation should get better. Right, should game. progress. Mm -hmm. When you see the children that are broken down and have lots of problems, it's because there was a breakdown in the parental unit. Mm -hmm. There's no other way to describe it. Because that child watches every single thing that parent does. Parent can speak as much as they want. It's your actions that teaches that child. Don't be a smoker and say, don't smoke because I'm your parent. I hate to say it, that's a retarded line. Don't be a drug dealer and say, don't be a drug dealer. Do as I say. Don't eat I sugar. Say. I mean, eat sugar and then tell your child, sugar's bad for you. Lead by example. Yeah. What your kids see is how they learn. We communicate without talking, you know? And that's why when I meet people, I know that if I say something, it will get processed. Even though they may hate it, they'll still process it because once you plant the seed, it's there forever. Remember that. Be careful what you have access to, what you hear, what you see, because they become permanent images and they also become permanent words and you process them all the time. And when you don't like them, you process them more. And people remember how, the, how you made them feel. Not really what you said. They don't remember anything of what you said. But they remember the feeling. Take away feeling. And it stays with them forever. Mm -hmm. I remember those things forever. I never commit people's names to memory. I remember how I felt when I met them in my encounter. Mm -hmm. And that stays with me forever. And that's what you go back to. Every time you see them, that's the first thing you process. So when they treat you like an asshole, and they're an asshole, every time you see them, you'll be like, okay, asshole alert. <laughs> you don't care what their name is. Am I... That's true. That's very true. You're absolutely right. So, you know, like I said, folks, right down to the music you listen to, right down to the books that you read, remember, your brain is a clean piece of slate all the time, depending yeah. upon how healthy you are. But it is open to new things. Put good things in there, because these are the tools you'll take on your journey. You listen to music that makes you bang your head, you'll be banging your head in the future. Mm -hmm. It's really simple. Yep. If you feel anxiety, you feel fear, you feel then you need to address some things that are going on in your life because they are creating that environment for you. You always have control over what's going on with how you feel. You really do. More so than you've been led to believe. I don't know. And, you know, like, when we travel, when we meet people, Chella, it's because we give them love and look what we get back, no matter where we go. And then you see somebody, if you approach somebody, your face is like, <laughs> and everything they say, you're like, and every time you call them on the phone, you got to talk about someone, you got to say something negative. I'm telling you, over time, people no longer want to receive your calls. It's draining. Because if you bring garbage, garbage in, garbage, garbage out. out. You right. talk garbage about people, and all you have is garbage talk. I'll be honest, the body mechanic definitely doesn't have time, and I know Chella doesn't, because <laughs> it's a waste of time. And you know what's funny? Those people talk about the same thing all the time. It's like they're looking for some crap to talk about somebody. You know what that means? They no that lives. their life is crap. Yeah. And, they, and they're so excited when they see us or hear from us because they like live vicariously through us. But they're capable. It's Very a switch. Very capable. Very capable. It, I'm telling you, folks, this is not rocket scientists. This doesn't take a PhD. All it takes 
and just listen to Pharrell's song. Mm -hmm. Just be happy. That's how you start, because that <laughs> generates the good chemicals in your body. And then what happens is you listen to music that makes you feel happy. That's right. And you don't necessarily have to listen to lyrics all the time. And this is something that me and Chella talk about. You know, there's something about listening to a song for 30 years. Because when you listen to things from the past over and over and over again, what that does, that occupies space for new things. Remember, folks, it's all about recycling. You have brain space that's available for new things every single day. There's not a day that goes by that you cannot grow and learn something new. Doing that is a choice. Being open and realizing how much you don't know and how much you can acquire is actually the key. So remember, when you cycle back and listen to that same song that you listen to every single day over and over again, you are occupying space that's designed for growth. Opportunity for something new. <laughs> and then you meet people that do the same things all over again. That's right. They we're literally, gonna, huh? We're going to take a break. Yeah, we are? Well, yeah, uh, right now. Okay. Take, take, take us out to break. Well, folks, uh, been, we have to pay some bills. It's been a month since you've done it. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to pay some bills. We're going to be back, and, and Chell's going to lighten us with, with some things that she's acquired, learned about her parents that she didn't know before, something else. I'm pretty sure there's always something. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. This is Beth. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. I am Tom Mealy for the Harrison Law Group, and I have been telling you for years that getting involved in an automobile accident is no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. If you've been involved in an accident of any kind, and you go to a law firm that says you have no case, it's simple. It's because they can't do it, and they don't get it. You need to call us directly at 1-800-INJURY-LAW. Being a fireman is more than just putting out blazes and giving kittens CPR. Sometimes my duty demands I fan the flames, like when a call comes in from a lady who needs immediate assistance. Maybe she needs help with that computer thing. Maybe she wants to go antique. Could be as simple as understanding that walking in heels is... It's hard. Aussi simple que l'été dernier à Paris. C'est sympa. Maybe it's ladies night in, and she wants a simple, delicious recipe for margaritas with a twist. First, a can of limeade. Now hold on to this, you'll be using it. 
Side note, kittens make everything better. Next, add water. Now, a bottle of light beer. It's not, shh, trust me, I'm a professional. And last, and most important, Sousa Blue Tequila. Now, mix it up. Ole. Yes, that's what I'm trained for. Whether it's to help her choose leggings or pants, telling her leggings are pants, or discussing leggings and jeggings versus pant pegging at her next ladies' night in, I'll come to the rescue. Don't call me a hero. Just call me. Let me know what time. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net. Welcome back to Body Shop TV. My name is Chella. And I'm the Body Mechanic NYC. Why are we so far apart? Are you, did you Because move? we're close in our hearts. Did we? I think I moved over too far. You did, Chella. All right. Because well. he was trying to hide them sexy legs. I was. <laughs> yes, you <she> was. <laughs> Stop it. So anyway, Body Mechanic, did you have fun at my parents' 59th wedding anniversary party? Yes, I did. I got to watch your mama do the chaturanga, and it was very hard. She still does salsa. <laughs> This, Chella, that's how you know you're around good stock. When her mother at 81 or 82 still does salsa, oh, you man. know you're in the right park. She said she lived, she grew up in the Palladium. Yeah? She could dance her butt off, yeah. Your mom's got some flavor. Yeah. She does. Yeah. And you know what? She's a woman, and she's had to deal with crap her whole life. And I come to the realization of that, and I'll be honest, I feel... You know, I had, a, I had a, a brief encounter with your mother on the phone, and I've kind of held a little grudge. And I really thought about it when I sat there, and I thought about her life and the people around her. And I know that she's done the best she can do. And um, when I see her, I'm going to apologize to her. Aww. I am. Not just, I mean, for me, but for her, and just because life is rough. Yeah. And it's even rougher you know who so all we need is extra people giving us a headache because we don't have time to sit here and define our lives and tell people about everything that we've been through because it just takes too long so you know definitely that's cool yeah that's cool you know so it's 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 nice to have my parents here you know my father two years now rec recovering from a massive heart attack and two strokes and he's uh, he's a strong man you know he's got a lot of pain and um, I just admire both of them yeah yeah but what's interesting is that you know him being down in Florida is also good for him oh yeah definitely and this is one of the points I want to make just ignore him <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's a Tom Mealy bicep there. These are Tom Mealy implants. Yeah, look at that. Ah. Tom Mealy is showing his his, his muscular uh, beauty through the window. All right, there we go. So, uh, yeah, you know, what's interesting is every time I travel, Chella, like there's like peel, there's like layers of crustacean that comes off, mm -hmm. and my brain feels freer and freer. And I know that 
we have to do business outside of here. Um, one of the biggest things I noticed when I came back is how decrepit the U.S. is becoming. And I'm not trying to scare anybody, but it's a reality. Mm -hmm. You know, when I see half the people with walkers and, and everyone is drinking coffee and eating fake food, I can't handle being in a place like that because you can't even hold a conversation. If someone is drinking coffee, their minds are already altered. And they don't even realize it. Caffeine is a powerful drug. And people just can't live without it. We should do a show on caffeine because um, a majority of the population of this country is addicted to it. Um, people drink not just one cup just to get started in the morning. But cups! Four or five cups during, during the day. And, it's, and I'm watching it more and more in this environment that I'm working in now. And it's like, why? It's very scary. Uh, people look at me when I talk about it. They, they, they call me a caveman. They say, but I can tell you something. I feel tranquil all the time. And caffeine is a drug. When you ingest caffeine, it reduces the amount of glycogen that's stored in the brain. And the constituents of the caffeine are deposited in your brain. That's why when you do a caffeine um, detox, you have a migraine because the energy system has to change over. It is an addictive tool. It is designed to be addictive. It is used as a designer food. That's why there are Starbucks on every block. Mm. Oh, hey, like cool. I said, we could create the perfect arbitrage. We could just buy Starbucks coffee, buy the stock, and take those monies and fight against Starbucks. In fact, that's what we should do for all those companies. <laughs> buy Monsanto, buy Starbucks. Folks, this is what we need to do. Mm -hmm. Buy those companies because they're going to keep making money because people are addicted to their foods. And then use those monies to fight against those companies so we can shut them down. Perfect <laughs> arbitrage. Hello. By the mechanic, we have a t-shirt contest going on. Yes, we do. And? We have 12 entries. 12 entries? 12 entries. Really? And we have, just remember, folks, it's two colors. Two colors. The theme is love, Chella. I mean, <laughs> wellness and, and, relationships. and relationships. Yeah. So when is the deadline? It's supposed to be August 1st. Do you August want, 1st. Yeah, you, want to, you want to extend it? No, let's keep it August 1st because we have our Body Shop Blue Party coming up in September. I want to keep that. So in September? September. Are you going away again? By we can weekend? give one extra week. Well, we'll talk about it. Right now it's August 1st. Okay. All right? So send your entries to bodyshopcontest at gmail.com. Body Shop. T-shirt. Uh, no, no, body shop contest, contest at, at gmail.com. Gmail body shop contest at, at gmail.com. Gmail and also don't forget our touch sensorium, which is the third Monday of each month at the awesome Heal Center. So, I'm sorry, Heal School of One, which is at 203 East Pulaski Road in Huntington Station. We're going to be touching you. Yes, Chella will put her love glove hands on you and you will be anointed <laughs> and free veggie juicing and wellness modalities dr ford will be there with his biosyntoning oh my gosh for don't get me started you have, if there's anything you do you have got to experience dr ford's biosyntone awesome. disc yeah, let definitely. me tell you everyone is exposed to dirty electricity emf is a real deal all right, I'm sorry. I'm getting carried away. I know it's been a long time. <laughs> anyway, have, time a, have a great week. Yes. Love hard and kiss long. Yes. Ciao, ciao.